Hey Cancer, how you guys doing? This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. This is your general tarot reading. We're going to take a look and see what's coming in for you guys in love, romance, and partnership. So Cancer, here's the deal. Um, this could be for you, right? You're a Cancer or this could be your person who's a Cancer. Um, take it how it resonates. Switch the roles, okay? Cross watches are welcome here. If you want um, a personalized tarot reading, you certainly could book a reading with me. You can go to my Etsy shop or even my website. All the information is in the description box below. All right, let's take a look. Messages for Cancer. What's going on? Any all messages for Cancer? All right, please do like, share, comment, subscribe if you enjoy these readings and you want more just like this one. All right, the biggest challenge, Cancer. Let's start off with the biggest challenge you could be facing right now pertaining to love and romance. Queen of Swords in reverse and the Four of Pentacles. Some of you, you're holding on to something or someone and it feels like it's bothering you that they're not communicating right now, okay? For some of you, the Queen of Swords in reverse could be someone who's a little bit combative, maybe kind of went off <laughs> at the mouth, you know what I mean? I'm giving the energy of like some kind of altercation or an argument that you and this person may have had. Um, could be a feminine energy, doesn't have to be. Cancer just makes you feel like the communication is just not good at all. So someone here may have cut off the other person or decided, you know what, I'm not talking to you anymore. But there's also energy of very being very guarded, whether this is you or your person. Someone could be holding back, literally withholding of communication, but it could just be holding back of information, right? Queen of Swords in the verse could be the energy of someone not being honest or lying and holding back. So we're going to look at this energy a little bit more. It does feel like that is something you may be going through with someone here. And a challenge could be like for someone to maybe let go of a grudge, to let go of something that may have been said, okay, and not holding it against the other person. All right, in the recent past, the relevant recent past, we have the Three of Wands. Queen of Pentacles and the Magician. So in a recent past, it does feel like there was an opportunity here where maybe um, someone wanted something more secure. Someone was hoping for something more stable and secure. But there's also energy of waiting. Was someone waiting for something to finally manifest? Cancer, maybe you're waiting for this person to finally seal the deal with you in terms of, you know, uh, a status, okay? Having a relationship or something like that. The magician could be a Gemini, but it does feel like there's something you want it to manifest here. You want it something to come together, to create an opportunity here. And it just feels like there was a lot of waiting, waiting, waiting going on. Okay. Some of you guys, you were at a distance from this person. So three of wands could definitely be like a long distance relationship. Or someone having to travel to come see the other person. Okay. So let's take a look. What's the current energy here? The hangman reverse. The nine of swords. What's all this stress about? The sun. The sun in reverse. Leo energy. Hangman Pisces. So there is some stress here. Anxiety, worries, frustration about something not working out the way that you anticipate, right? You, you want some kind of happiness, some kind of peace, joy, prosperity with the sun card, with this person or with the situation. I feel like the hangman could be your person, um, cancer could be a Pisces you're dealing with. And maybe they need some time to think. For some of you guys, they put this connection or put you on hold, or at least that's what it feels like and that can be causing you a lot of distress agony worries like not really sure what's going to happen and the sun in reverse is not really being very confident or hopeful that something is going to work out in the end okay so the energy is telling me that someone needs some time someone needs to figure things out and they may be literally like putting pause on this connection until they figure that thing out meanwhile someone is stressing out in their head, mental conflict, going around in their head about a situation here and can't seem to release their thoughts, okay? All right, let's see. There could be something you're also not seeing at the moment because the sun is in reverse. There could be some delays or even something here where you feel like you're in the dark about, okay? Queen of Swords reverse could definitely be in the dark about a situation that someone wasn't speaking about or not communicating. Your person's energy, let's take a look. Okay, four of swords in reverse, eight of pentacles in reverse, 
Ace of Swords, I like it. Cutting through the BS, King of Wands in reverse. So this could be a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries. Ace of Swords for me is telling me that someone is ready to openly, thoroughly communicate. There is an opportunity to communicate, to cut out all the confusion and illusions and getting to the heart of the matter. Ace of Swords tells me that someone is ready to speak the entire truth. There's information, open dialogue, a conversation coming through, okay? And it may be clearing the air, especially if the sun is in a verse, you're not really sure what's going on, right? You're lacking information and you're not feeling so great. The Four of Swords in a verse is telling me there could be some anxiety though coming in with this communication. So know that someone is very anxious or worried about maybe speaking some kind of truth. Someone is very, um, I'm getting insecure with the King of Wands in a verse and not really sure what it's going to look like moving forward with you. Um, and I also feel like it could be it could be some kind of communication as to why they weren't able to invest. Um, this is someone that is uh, hasn't changed or hasn't been able to be that person you wanted them to be. Eight of Pentacles in verse, they haven't been putting in the effort, okay? They haven't really been showing you that they're serious or taking the connection serious, right? So there could be some kind of like disappointment. For some of you guys, Ace of Swords and the Nine of Swords, whatever they're telling you is creating some stress and agony and worries and that's what they didn't want, okay? So that could be why the hangman, someone is waiting to figure out how to best communicate something to you because they know that maybe whatever's coming out isn't really going to be news or the greatest news. It's not going to be music to your ears, okay? All right, let's take a look at the outcome. Five of Pentacles in reverse, the Seven of Cups in reverse, and we have the Eight of Wands in reverse. So coming in, there are some delays, okay? I see that maybe communication is... A little bit slow doesn't mean it's not happening doesn't mean it's non-existent it's just slow okay there's also some kind of clarity coming through but it feels like it's coming in with time so it's not going to come in right away like a big aha moment but there's some kind of clarity coming in for the situation you're dealing with especially if you're finding yourself in the dark or in this place of great illusions okay I also feel like there's someone, Cancer, who wants to get back in your life. The Five of Pentacles in verse is telling me they're feeling quite left out in the cold and they're trying to find their way back in. Um, and it's a slow process. I think the Eight of Wands in verse is telling me that someone knows that maybe they're not welcome in right now, Cancer. So there's a slow approach to coming back in your life and maybe setting the record straight and getting clarity, giving you clarity to a situation here, okay? All right, so let's take a look. Let's get some more answers. Let's dive a little bit deeper. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Um, again, like, share, comment, subscribe if you enjoy these readings. You want more just like this one. All right, we have the Four of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords in the verse. So Three of Wands. Yeah, there's the energy of someone coming in very slowly, but definitely looking towards some kind of opportunity in the near future. This could be something over the next three days, three weeks, or three months, okay? Three of Wands is telling me someone is very... um very much desiring some kind of movement with you and then looking toward the future and it's like the future is telling me that or it's like your person's looking at the future and getting better it's like they think that with time things will get better okay three of wands is also telling me they're waiting for their ships to come in they're waiting for an opportunity to finally come in for them to make a move okay so if they're not communicating right now well that's because they're waiting for the right opportunity to all right um, there's also energy of like someone being guarded, holding a grudge. So for some of you, they're afraid to communicate because they think you're upset with them. Give me a recent pass. What is taking so long? We have three of wands in a recent pass as well. And the magician. Some of you guys have been waiting for this person to create an opportunity with you and them. And it like never happened. But there is an energy of hope, wishes, desires, dreams, the star and the, and the wheel with the ten of cups in the verse. So it's almost like... It's telling me, Cancer, this person has perhaps really disappointed you. You know, Ten of Cups in a verse is like you're not you're not happy, you're not fulfilled. But there's still something here where you have a glimpse of hope. The star, you're still hopeful that something will work out. Um, the wheel that, you know, there's some kind of like positive change or maybe something recently happened where cancer, you figure that, well, maybe I shouldn't lose hope. So, you know, even though you've been unhappy and emotionally like unfulfilled, I do see something still kind of slowly manifesting. But again, it feels like it's over time. So things aren't happening quick at all here. Give me the energy of the nine of swords, the hangman and the sun. 
the strength in reverse, the three of pentacles in reverse, and the eight of cups. So someone has been holding back. The strength in reverse, they don't feel very confident. They're not feeling like they are physically equipped or you know there's the energy of just not just not feeling their best they're feeling weak and it's because they left you eight of cups this is someone that walked away from you when you perhaps needed them the most and with the three of pentacles in reverse they may feel like you and them are just not on the same page right now so there's the energy of your person maybe wanting to like Come in, the sun universe and the hangman universe is telling me that your person is just not very confident. They're trying to figure out how to best go about this, especially if maybe you walked away from them, Cancer. For some of you guys, you walked away from your person because they disappointed you big time, okay? Eight of Cups is walking away. I'm not happy here anymore, right? All right, give me that Four of Swords and Eight of Pentacles. What are the fears for this person? There's some anxiety and fear. Temperance in reverse, the world in reverse, and the hangman in reverse. This is someone that feels like maybe you've moved on without them. Like maybe something came up in your life or you've, you've literally, literally moved on. The world is in reverse. It's almost like a closing of a chapter or a cycle, okay? And the temperance is telling me, again, there's some anxiety because of time, all the time that has passed. So Cancer, there's something you need to know. That when this person comes in, they're gonna be frantic. They're gonna be so anxious and worried because they know that they did you wrong and there's been so much time that has passed and they've done nothing about it. So the hangman in the verse, this is someone that's really thinking, trying to see things differently, looking at a situation from a different perspective. Let's see what they're gonna communicate. But there's also something here with a hangman. I feel like they're trying to figure out how to like turn the tables, right? The world in reverse, how to get back that opportunity and kind of like have that cycle again with you. So Ace of Swords, what are they trying to say? This could be a fire sign or even a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Knight of Pentacles, the Chariot, Cancer, that's you, and the Six of Wands in reverse. This is someone that wants to have a victory with regard to a situation that has been left non-victorious right six of wands in a verse is telling me that cancer you're not really paying this person mind you're not paying them much attention and they're kind of wanting you you know to see them the chariot is wanting a victory wanting to accomplish something wanting to move forward with full force and i feel like your person although they want this they know that in order to accomplish this they're having to come in with the knight of pentacles so there's a very slow moving energy here this is your person coming in communicating ace of swords being very honest and upfront, but also bringing something very stable and secure. So this is someone that's coming in with the Knight of Pentacles, again, slowest moving Knight of the Tarot deck, but they're coming in and they're bringing durability. They're bringing um, stability and security, right? Something tangible. So I like it. All right. Can't tell you that's you. It's definitely coming your way. Um, let's see what the outcome is. We have the five of pentacles and the seven of cups, some kind of clarity coming through. You may be getting clarity about how this person feels, but again, just some delays overall. Page of cups in a verse, seven of cups in a verse, and the three of swords. So the reason why this is all happening so slow is because the amount of hurt and pain, disappointment, heartbreak, right? Lost grief that you and your person have experienced cancer. They know three of swords that maybe they betrayed you right? Maybe there was a third party, seven of cups. Maybe they had other options and they left you. And so there's an energy of like slowly coming in because they know that if they come in fast, they won't be accepted, right? They'll be left at the door. So there is some kind of apology that I feel like your person is really working on coming in with. It's not happening right away, but I do feel the goal is to get back in your life, five of pentacles in the verse, to get out of the cold, right? And give you clarity about how they feel because there's a lot of cups here and there's a lot of illusions about what you may think they feel like, right? You may feel that um, or think that they don't feel any way about you, but that's not true. So the page of cups and seven of cups in verse is some kind of clarity coming through. And with this clarity, you know, it could be it could be literally your person apologizing, giving you clarity, right? But also um, giving you clarity because, you know, now you know this person cares. There's some kind of expression of emotions and feelings with the Page of Cups here. So Cancer, that is what I'm seeing. Something is slowly happening here for sure. Three of Wands, there's definitely energy of waiting, waiting for your ships to come in. I do feel like it will finally come in with regards to this person. If you enjoy this reading, like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll check you guys out later. Take care.